The collector for ArcGIS app will allow users to work in an offline environment when cellular or Wi-Fi connections are unavailable. Downloading the map includes the feature layer and base map to go fully offline. You can copy a base map directly to a mobile worker's device through a process called sideloading. Sideloading a base map has a few advantages because the base map is stored locally on the device, the maps download faster. It also allows the base map areas to be larger in size and you can utilize the same base map for multiple maps. The base map you wish to use must be created into a tile package for sideloading purposes. I'm going to use the Create Map Tile Package tool in ArcGIS Pro to create my tile package. I've got my project open in ArcGIS Pro and if I look at the layers here, I've got the standard Esri base maps along with the counties that I want to create the base map for. So I'm going to remove Esri base maps and then I'm going to save my map. Now in the geoprocessing window, I'm going to look for the Create Map Tile Package tool. From here, I'm going to start putting in my input. So I'm going to select my map, which is Tile Package. I'll enter the desired file name into the output file box. Then I'm going to choose the type of formatting I want, and then I'm going to set the level of detail. The summary and tag are optional. From here, I can set the extent to be that of my base map, and I can specify the package type. I can go ahead and run the tool. Now that I've got the tile package created, the next steps will be configuring the map to use that tile package and collector, as well as copying the tile package over to the mobile device we'll be using for data collection. The first thing we're going to do is go to ArcGIS Online, and then we're going to go into the settings of the map that we wish to use the tile package with. Down in the offline section, we'll see the advanced options. We'll go in here, and down at the bottom, you'll see the tile package for offline base maps, and we'll Switch it over to use the device we'll use tile package it already has, and then we're going to give it the tile package name, and we'll need to make sure that we add the extension as well. Then we're going to go ahead and save. This last section here is going to go over the workflow of getting the tile package onto the mobile device. For ease of use, I've uploaded my tile package up to Dropbox that I can then download uh, through my files app on my iOS device to store the tile package file into the collector files. The other option to get the file onto iOS is to go through the iTunes app. So you can select the collector app and then you can send the tile package over through it. I'm going to go ahead and launch my files app. And in here, I'm going to go into the Dropbox section, and then to where I have the tile package saved, and I'll tap and hold the tile package and copy it. Then I'm going to go back to the root directory, and then I'm going to go into, on my iPhone, to the Collector app, and then into Base Maps and paste the tile package there because it's going to be used as a base map. To copy the tile package into the collector directory on Android, we're going to go into the settings and then storage and files. From here we're going to go to, into the downloads folder. We're going to select the tile package and we're going to hit the menu and choose the move to option. Now we're going to go ahead and show internal storage to view the Android internal and then we're going to go into the ArcJS underscore collector folder, and then we're going to move it straight to that directory. Now I can go ahead and launch collector. I'm going to go back to the maps view. Then I'm going to click the menu for my generic map and choose add offline area. You can see that it's loaded the same base map that we created in ArcGIS Pro into the tile package. I can go ahead and zoom in, go to the extent I want my base map to be, and then go ahead and hit download. And then once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and open this map. And it'll be ready for an offline environment where there's no cellular or Wi-Fi. One other setting to mention is you may need a location profile set if you have a base map or tile package that is not in WGS84 Web Mercator. 
So to do that, you'll go into the profile settings and then down to location profile. From here, we're going to set the GNSS coordinate system. So we'll say we're just using WGS84. Then we'll go ahead and select the map coordinates. So if I'm using a state plane system, this is where I would select state plane, as that's what my uh, tile package is in. And then you'll just zoom to the extent that you'll be collecting data in. And then you'll go ahead and select the transformation that you wish to use between the two coordinate systems. Last of all, you'll give the profile a name. And then in the location profile, you'll go ahead and tap on it to use it. 